we're going to see how to run Laravel in a subdirectory of another application using Nginx configuration. Now, this is a bit tricky. Nginx configuration you think might be simple for this, but it's actually a little complicated. There's a bunch of stuff going on. So we are going to build up to getting two applications running. One is our top level Laravel application we see here, and then we have another Laravel application running in a uh, sub app sub directory. So two totally separate Laravel apps. They are both fully working and one is just in the subdirectory of another in terms of the URL structure we see here. I have a different user, there's a different background, and if I check out some headers here, I've also added a middleware so that they return an X app header that tells me which application we're hitting. So top level for the top level one, and if I go to sub app, we'll see I have a uh, value of sub app for the same X app header. So we have ways to differentiate so we can test out what's going on as we go. Okay, so let's see how to set this up so you can run the same setup for yourself if you need Laravel to run in a subdirectory. Okay, so I'm gonna head to my Etsy nginx comp.d directory. The working configuration is in this laravel.comp file. The not working original is in this default laravel.comp file. So let's bring that one back. Okay, so the laravel.comp file is now just a plain vanilla Laravel configuration for a regular Laravel app without Laravel running in a subdirectory, right? So if I head back here, this one will still work. This one, the sub app will no longer work. All right, let's go ahead and edit this configuration so we can see how to make this work. I'm gonna add a new location block here. It's gonna be for sub app. This is gonna capture any URI of slash sub app and anything after it because it captures anything. It's not specific to sub app. If I did this equal sign here, it would be just the URI slash sub app and nothing after it, but we're not gonna do it. So it's gonna capture everything. We need something new here. Now we have a new web root. Let me show you. I'll go to my var dub 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 directory. And inside of here we have our app and in a separate directory is the sub app, right? So sub app is not, not inside of the app directory. And it should not be for this configuration because there's no reason to mix up your uh, code files for that for two applications. What we are going to have is a completely separate directory for our sub app. So heading back to the Nginx configuration and editing our laravel.conf we need uh, a different root, but root is not going to work for us here. What we need instead is actually an alias. So we're going to say alias and we'll say the new directory that this uh, sub app should be served out of is var www sub app public. Okay, so what this is going to do is that it's going to search in the var www sub app public directory anytime it sees a request to slash sub app. It is not going to append slash sub app to the files, to the directory that's searching files for in, uh, which is what we want because roots does a little bit of some funky stuff if we try to do a separate web root here. Um, this has some uh, things that are gonna matter for some configuration in a second. So uh, we have a new alias, a new web root for when we go to sub app. We also need try files here. We need a new try files block and it's exactly like this one almost. We'll do slash URI, URI uh, with the backslash, so let's search just for a directory. And then we'll do our index.php fallback with the thing that adds the question marks if there is a query parameter and the uh, query string itself if there is a query string. So let's save and quit this and just see what happens. I'm going to do sudo service nginx reload and we'll see if this still works. Do we get this application back? We don't. It has a 404 not found error. And let's check out the headers to see what's going on here. If I go to the network tab, I'll refresh, go to profile. It's a not found and X app is, if I go to response headers, X app is the top level app. This is still getting served from the top level application. Okay, what does that mean and why is that happening? Well, it turns out that uh, when it goes to a PHP page, you know, it's the slash index PHP file, it's ending up at this location block and include uh, snippets fastcgiphp.conf is setting the script the, uh, that it's looking for, the index that PHP file it's looking for, to the web root. So let's check that out. I'm going to do rip grep uh, and search file name for all directories in here, actually one level up. And then we're going to see fastcgi.conf is setting the fastcgi parameter script file name to document root fastcgi script name. So it's going to look in the root, not the alias. So what we need to do is uh, add a new PHP location block and we're going to add it inside of our slash sub application block, which means when try files here sees an index of PHP file is uh, desired, it's going to use the nested location block. Okay, so here we go. We've just copied and pasted the uh, PHP block here, and this is going to do the same thing. We didn't actually fix our error. All we did is created a new PHP block so that we can override that script file name parameter. 
So what we're going to do is just head here underneath the include snippets fastcgi uh, php.conf. We're going to say fastcgi param and going to override the script file name that's set previously up here with request file name. Request file name, if you look up in the nginx docs, includes the alias. It takes the alias into account. So what it's going to do is going to look for var dub dub sub app public index.php whenever index.php or whatever index or whatever PHP file is requested. So this will take that into account. So let's uh, get out of this sudo service nginx reload to reload the configuration. Try this out and not found still. But if we go to sub app here, it is working. And again, if our um, if we check out our network tab, we see X app is sub app. So this is working for the home page of our sub app, but not sub pages, right? I can't go back to uh, the login page or anything like that. It's not going to work. Okay, so what's broken still? So whenever you see a Laravel or PHP application in general work for the home page, that means it's finding the index.php file successfully, right? But if a sub page is not working, like our slash profile page, that typically means the uh, PHP FPM server is not finding PHP, the PHP file, the index.php file correctly. So if I do sub app index.php slash profile, that also doesn't work. I thought it might, but it doesn't. But what's happening is that the uh, index.php file is not being found correctly. And um, our, I think our, our top level app was once again, yeah, see our top level app is once again serving this request, even though it's in the slub app slash profile directory. So what we need to do is add a rewrite. So we're going to edit our Laravel configuration one more time. Instead of slash index at PHP is our args, blah, 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 we're going to add a names location. And that's going to be called sub app in this case, or I think I'll call it nested. And what this is going to do is just say if uh, anything else that doesn't match the URI or URI directory, uh, it's going to send it to this at nested location block. And we can go ahead and create that location block. OK, so this location block is called at nested. It's just a named location block. Try files is going to send it there when it sees that uh, the URI and URI directory doesn't match. In other words, when it would normally send us to an index.php file, that sends it down here. We're actually going to go down here instead to this at nested block, and it's going to make a rewrite. So what this is going to do is allow uh, our sub app, anything that's in the, in the slash sub app subdirectory, uh, to know that index.php is actually the file that it wants to serve, right? So sub app and anything, it's going to capture what that anything is in this regular expression. If it sees anything in the sub app subdirectory, then it's going to rewrite it to slash sub app index.php and then anything else after it. And then this last keyword tells it to actually restart uh, rereading the URI with this rewritten URL. So it ends up back up here at this location and then the slash sub app and goes through that whole process again. OK, so saving with that, sudo nginx-g to test it. It likes it. nginx reload to test this out. And we're back in action. This works. Not only does this work, but like our forms work. I could just like add a new name here. And that saved, right? So form submissions work. They go to the right thing. There's no session weirdness, nothing like that. And both applications work great. I have two quick things to mention. The first is just reviewing what we just did. So our location is sub app. We need a Laravel application there. A Laravel app is in a different directory, vardadub sub app. So we use an alias, not the root, an alias. Uh, the alias does not include the slash sub app in the URI. And so uh, we need to do some stuff for that. And that is adjust the script file name so that it gets the correct file name for PHP FBM. So PHP FBM can find the correct index at PHP file on your server. Then we also need to do a rewrite. So for any sub uh, paths, any routes in your Laravel app, it knows to uh, serve the index.php file for those um, for those routes, right? So for in our home page, that works. But if we add slash profile for the profile route, it no longer works. And this rewrite helps that along. So it goes to sub app index to be index.php slash uh, profile, right? And then index.php is the file it knows to serve. Therefore, it ends up back in this location block, and everything just works right. OK, the second thing, I'm using this H5BP configuration. This is something I've covered in other videos, so definitely check that out. And that's it. We have a nested Laravel application, just like we want, using this Nginx configuration.